Hey, Brother Sewing, Crafting, and Sewing and Embroidery, and now Quilting <laughs> family. How's it going? I'm Angela Wolf. If you haven't been to our show, the Brand Ambassadors are taking over. Sorry about the beep. It was just reminding me to go live. <laughs> We're taking over the Brother Sews Facebook and YouTube page, and we have had so much fun. So if you missed yesterday's show, I actually had to watch it over again, and I cried. I was laughing so hard. I learned how to quilt. I'm so excited. And now I have a challenge on hand. I need to quilt, use the quilt that Matthew taught me yesterday and incorporate it into a garment. So I'll be sharing sketches on Instagram. So be sure to uh, follow me on there. But welcome everyone. Hey, well, Fack, I see you all rolling in. And I have a very special guest for you today. And I thought that this would be a really cool thing. So number one, Colleen's coming on. And many of you know her. She is so talented. I go to a lot of shows with her, but right now we're virtual. Uh, but she also helps. Well, she works on the 10 needle, which is what she's going to show you today. But she teaches classes at a lot of the dealers using embroidery for a business. And I know many of you have talked about that. And now with our lives all changing, this might be an opportunity uh, for you to learn when these open back up. Maybe they'll be virtual. I don't know. But you're going to love Colleen. And she's all the way on the other side of the country from me. I'm in Michigan. She's in Washington. So let's bring Colleen up. And welcome, Colleen. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good, good. So you are, we are pretty much on the opposite sides of the country. And it's so I've cool that we can get together this way. I've got sunshine. you got sunshine. That's just showing off. Actually, I have to say today's the first day we've had sunshine in like a month and it was really hard to go to work. I thought, you know, this could be the one day I could go for a nice walk. <laughs> After work. Yes. So what? Are, <laughs> how have you been, by the way? What are you up to? I'm good. I'm taking my dog for walks and, and sewing because we can't leave the house other than that. So, <laughs> so uh, if you guys haven't met Colleen, Colleen is a brother educator. You've been there for a lot of years. Yes. I started as a toddler. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I'm so glad you could come on today because uh, I'm not really efficient or proficient or whatever word you want to use on the 10 needle. I use it a lot, but I do not have the wealth of knowledge that you have. And so thank you for coming on because there's a lot of people that have asked me, should I get an embroidery only machine? Should I do a single needle? Should I do a multi needle? What are the be benefits and the negatives or if there are any of any? Um, so uh, you are going to help us with all that and give us a little tour of the machine. Okay, that sounds like fun. So why don't you tell everyone just a little bit about how you started this, by the way, with the because you're teaching uh, how to do business as well, aren't you, at some of the dealers? I am. So I used to have a business, and then it was just so much more fun to travel and teach others how to do it that I started doing that instead. Um, I started with the very first machine that Brother had that was a multi-needle, and there were six needles on it. And in that time period, they didn't let uh, us educators play with them. So I bought my own <laughs> so I could play with it because it made sense to me. The first time I saw it, I thought, well, that's pretty interesting, but it, it just made a lot of sense to me. You know, when you thread up a machine, you're going to do two or three, two or three different pieces with the mm -hmm. same design. You're changing colors a lot and it's the same colors. So when I found out that this guy would change all of his colors himself and he didn't need me, went, <laughs> oh yeah, we're in. So that's how I got started. And now it is my, it is my love. It is my go-to. We'll never be without one. My husband's talking about living in a motor home. And I said, where's the PR go? <laughs> I love that. He said, if we have to, we'll get a trailer for the PR. <laughs> oh, really? That, yeah. that I can just see you like in the back without your PR right in the back. <laughs> well, I probably wouldn't be embroidering while we're on the go, but at a campground, I certainly would be. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay, so I see everybody rolling in, and there was like three ladies that said they do not have sound. So just make sure <laughs> that you, um, because I see everyone else saying they do have sound. So all you have to do is, if you're watching this, well, you probably can't hear me. But if someone could send them a message. <laughs> That if you look on the Facebook page on the bottom right hand side, you touch it and there's like a little volume thing. So your volume might be off. I just want to make sure that you got that. So, okay, sounds good. Everybody else has sound? It looks like it. I always have to check this at the beginning <laughs> because Colleen, you'll go through the whole thing and we'll have to do it all over again. 
There's Robin. Hey, Robin. So give us a tour of this machine for those that have never, they don't understand what a 10 needle is. I mean, it's behind you. I have my six needle behind me back there. Well, I put something on here because some of the things that we do are hard. So on a regular machine, you can do them. Let's see, do I need to move closer? Yeah, just a little bit. And then I'll okay. bring you up on the screen by yourself. I'll get myself out of there. But you don't have to leave. I'm, I'm hanging out, but I'm putting you bigger. So okay. I can still move. I'm gonna just move this a little bit closer. And I have this gigantic jacket on here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh but yeah, we can see that. that's huge. I know it's a hunting jacket, but you know, you can do these on your home machine, but they're, they're what I call a vocabulary enhancing experience. Now, do you know what that means? No. Vocabulary enhancing experience. <laughs> well, oh, I, get it. <laughs> I can use my imagination on that one. Yeah. So with this guy, he's such a big, heavy hunting jacket. I just laid him out here on the table so that you could see how easy this would be to use. I didn't hoop him, but I, but he's here and he's ready. So there you go. That's one of the things that I wanted you to see. Then I wanted you to see this nice, big workspace. This is, this table is included. That's so a nice table. Doing, it's huge. So when you're doing, uh, you know, quilting or tablecloths or you know, big things like that heavy jacket, this guy's included so you can just pull him on and off. And he's gonna go away because that's all it takes to make him go away. Now, here's the real difference. And I might have to tilt this a little bit. Can you see where my hand is? You can. Oh yes, we can see it great. Okay, so this guy, this is, this is what you want. This is a free arm. So with the free arm, when I'm doing things like caps or little tiny things that I can't hoop on a regular machine, they're just a snap. There's no problem at all. So let me grab this onesie that's in a hoop right here. So here's a little onesie. You can see I've already embroidered on it. That's so this, cute. Isn't that fun? Whoops. There go this way. So what's hard about these is if you've ever done a onesie, you just have to tuck all the bits of the onesie out of the way and tape it or, or clip it or do something to make it stay still. And then you can embroider. But if you turn your back, usually a little sleeve will hop into the hoop and stitch itself down. Don't <laughs> ask me how I know this, but I do know this. So what I'm gonna do is he's already hooped. I'm gonna just slide him right over that free arm. I'm gonna clip him into place and look where all the bad stuff is. No oh, yeah. Little, yeah. See, no little arms, no little bad things can get caught. Is that wonderful? That's really nice. That's what makes this machine the love of my life. I'll never be without one. So let's take a little tour. I'm going to take this guy off because I got some other things I want to show you. I'm going to see something else that's not very fun to hoop, but it's yeah. really fun to give you a stuff like that. Oh, what's that? It's a hot mitt. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know what that is. I, I don't go in that area of our house very oh, often. Okay. No. That scary part. Well, the fun thing about this is they make wonderful personalized gifts for friends and family. And they're not fun to embroider on normally. But on this guy, again, it goes right over the free arm. You don't have to take anything apart. So we love Zim. That's very a good cute. Christmas present. Good Christmas present. That so, is a good present. Yeah. Oh, it's a great one. Oh, when you're all done, Patricia wants to see the board again. She missed that. She wants to get a closer look. Oh, you mean the table? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. That's not hard. Um, this is another fun thing that I like to do because football season is going to come back. I'm dyslexic, so I always go the wrong way. Football season <laughs> is going to come back. And this is all applique. And the reason I wanted to show you applique is because it's faster. You can get a great big design done really, really quickly. The machine does a beautiful job. And by the way, if you happen to have a scan and cut, it will cut all the letters and shapes for you. Which and that is super cool, by the way. And I forgot to tell you that this is genuine pleather. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's official looking pigskin. <laughs> 
official looking pig skin. Also, you have a couple comments on here. Is there any chance, I don't want to mess up like what order you're doing this stuff in, but they want to just see if you could just give a little demo on how on the world you hooped or a similar way, you don't have to do the whole hooping, but kind of how you got that, that mitt on there. And I, um, I, she might have just popped in. So don't forget everyone that's watching here, you can always go back and watch the replay, but that free arm is what allows this to happen. How about if I do it on a onesie? Cause I've got a onesie handy. Sure. Okay. So. Hi, okay. I'm going to have to kind of hold it in the air because the table, well, not put the table back on. Then I can hoop on the table. How's that? That sounds good. The advantage of having a table. Okay. So this hoops backwards from a normal hooping. So the big, the, the ring goes on the outside and it's adjustable. And I'm just going to slide it right inside the bottom of this onesie. And I'm being careful to keep the adjustment screw so you can and make it larger and smaller right down here where it's handy for me. Don't ask me how I learned that. Took a while to figure that out. <laughs> then this guy with the arms on it, uh -huh. he just slides right on top and you just press him into place. So I want to just point that out for a second for all of you that have a one needle. It, the hooping is a little bit different. I mean, because usually I always think of it when I first got my 10 needle, I was doing it upside down <laughs> because it's just not used to doing it that way. <laughs> so I love that you showed that so clearly so they can see that. Yeah. And then then this guy's open so you can just slide him right on that free arm. And that just makes all the difference in the world. And you can do so much with that guy. Sometimes I do cheat and I use uh, little tiny specialty hoops with sticky stuff on them. And I use those items when I'm doing, let's see, this way, this guy. Oh, here, let me bring you back up. Oh, that's a cute bag. So he's about a two inch roll bag from a very high end store. And the only reason I bought it, because it's too small for me to carry and be practical, but I've love the fact that it would be impossible to do and it's not so that was a fun one to do let's see what else is fun that would let's do you want to take a quick tour of the screen i'm going to get rid of the table for now but i wanted to take you through the screen because many of you have a domestic sewing machine or sewing and embroidery machine and this one is very 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 similar can you see my screen well enough do yeah we can to... Can you all see it pretty good? I can see it great. Okay, I'm gonna grab the stylus to point because my fingers are fat. But this is what you get when you open up the machine and you see all the different design bundles. There's all kinds of designs. There's like, I don't know, a million designs on there. And then we have My Design Center and we're gonna talk about that one a little bit later. But that's where, just think of it as a digitizing program that lives on your machine. When I first saw it, I was kind of amazed um, it is a, a, a digitizing program, which is really effective. And it's on screen, so you can change things and fix things as you go, which mm, I like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at some of the categories. These are obvious, the alphabet fonts, there's a million of them. So we're not gonna go through all those. Here's where a bunch of design categories live. This guy right here is a test pattern so that you can just test all your colors and make sure every needle's working perfectly. So one of the things that I love the most about this is that it can go back and forth between needles without needing me to be there. So if I'm doing multiples of something, let's just say I was doing um, five merit badges for Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or some group in a, a fishing club, whatever, in my hoop, it will do all of the colors and finish one badge and then it will do all the colors and finish the next badge or it can go from color to color for each badge, whichever is the way you want it to do. But boy, does that save time. And since it knows what color is coming up next, it just goes there without me needing to be around. So I really, really like that. But what I wanted to show you was some things here on the screen. So we're gonna choose a design and I'm actually, um, let's see, I'm actually gonna choose a design that's in the memory because I wanna play with it just a little bit. So we're gonna set him and it has memory over here. You have a USB slot and you have an SD card slot. So that holds lots and lots of memory. And then it has its own internal memory. 
But one of the first things that pops up is size. And I don't know about you, but the design sizes are never always exactly the size that I wanted. They're either a little bit too large or they're a little bit too big, small or they're a little bit something. So if you touch the word size, and don't you love the way they've cleverly hidden that context for you? You have to look for the word size to figure it out. Wow. So this one means I'm going to change the size and not change the stitching. And this one means that I'm going to change the number of stitches. So that means it's re-digitizing it for you. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to go from one and a half to, whoops, I went the wrong way. I'm going to go the bigger size. There, that's about the size I want for my onesie. And I can change the density if I needed to. I'm going to tell it, okay, rotate is obvious. Flip is obvious. This would change the color. So let's say that I didn't want a blue airplane, that I wanted a purple airplane. I simply touch color and I touch purple and I can now see a purple airplane. That's really helpful for me to see if I like something or not, because sometimes people will tell you a certain color they want, but it's really not a good choice. Well, so you know, it, what's interesting, uh, what model, uh, they, they want to know what the exact model of this machine that you have. This is the PR1050X. All right. That's what I thought it was. I just wanted to make sure. But um, what I think a few people might not realize is that I've done quite a few tutorials and they've seen other things on YouTube with a lot of these same features are in the other machines that we have, except on a different level. So it's like the, the learning curve is really easy going from, say, the Dream Machine or the Stellaire or the Quattro over, or not the Quattro, but um, the Luminaire over to here. Very similar, not the same, but similar. Well, the Quattro is very similar also, and even the icons are the same. If you have any brother machine, you're going to find many of the icons are same, but also the flow through, what I call the navigation to get to where you need to go is still very, very similar. Yeah. So that's that makes it handy and, and efficient. So I don't actually like the purple airplane. I am going to go back to, to uh, the blue and uh, be happy with that. And then... Um, this would be if I needed mo more of one. So it actually gives me the opportunity to just add more and more of these. And you can see I could fill the whole screen with them and then put circles around them and call them patches. I don't want to do that, but I just wanted you to see that tool is there because it is a very, very useful tool. And I'll just push center to bring him back. This is copy paste. This will do something that's really fun. We're going to turn him into an applique patch. And so we're just going to say, um, we could choose a shape or we can just choose configure and configure means it'll configure around it and make an applique shape around it for you that fits your thing. Is that cool? And of That's course I can resize cool. it and change it and do all sorts of things, but I want you to see how difficult this is to learn because it would really take you a minute, wouldn't it? Oh, but wait, I'm not always going to be in your sewing room with you, but the videos are. So when you touch the video key, and touch videos, there are all kinds of videos right here embedded in the machine. There's no sound, there's just beautifully, beautifully done videos for you to watch. So they did that to help us so we could learn it. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. What's the biggest hoop that goes with that machine? Because I know you can buy extra, but what's the, the biggest, biggest hoop that comes with it is about an eight by 14. And what's the biggest hoop that they can purchase in addition? 14 by 14. 14 by 14? Yes. I just conveniently happened to have one right here. 14 by 14. And this oh, is that's beautiful. Quilt. Thank you. It's a quilting pattern. Isn't that fun? That's very fun. Okay. So that's a 14 by 14. It's huge. You want to use the table when it come when you do that for sure. Okay, so this one would uh, make it so you could take it back to my design center, which we're not going to do. And this one, uh, we just wanted to stipple around it and it stippled around it. And then you can control your distance and your spacing and all of that kind of stuff. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Very. Now, if we had a bunch of things, we could, we could group them together and move them as one. We're going to go to edit end. And rotate, we know what that means. This guy means auto-based. This guy means I wanna do a whole bunch of them and I want them to line up perfectly. And I don't wanna think about it. 
So the machine actually takes over and it uses its snowman. And if you haven't met our snowman, I'm sorry. You just really need to, you just really need to know him because he, one, he and I were best friends. I saw him and I knew that my life had changed. And why is he so wonderful? Because he makes everything perfect. So even if you hoop wrong, he just fixes it and smiles and says, it's okay, honey, I got this and fixes it. <laughs> It's amazing. And we'll talk more about him in a minute, but that's what this does. And it allows you to just hoop on and on and on and on. And it always comes out matching perfectly because of our snowman. This guy tells it to stop because you're going to do an applique fabric or you just want to check on it or um, whatever. There's the snowman. And, and he and I will, I will never have a machine that doesn't have the snowman. Am I plain enough about that? Yep, you, I think you are. <laughs> so as luck would have it, I have a hooped one here and I have the snowman on him, but you know, I hooped him pretty good. So he's kind of in the center, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, that's not gonna really show you what I need you to see. So I'm gonna hoop him, I'm gonna hoop him a little off. Cause do you ever have a bad hooping day? Oh, well, gosh, I need you to tell the truth. Come on. Wait, let's ask everybody watching. Have you ever had a bad hooping day? <laughs> That's only people who are sewing embroidery would ever get that. But yes, I've had very bad hooping days <laughs> live as well in front of everyone. <laughs> I think we've all had them. And Absolutely. I scooched down to the floor here because I wanted to hoop on a hard surface and I didn't want to put the table back up. But you can see, can you see my hooping? Yep. Now, now we definitely can see that that, that little guy's crooked. <laughs> oh, darn. Well, I should have had more caffeine this morning. So again, I'm just going to go right through here. I'm going to, oh gosh, he's going to be upside down too from the design I've chosen. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. They'll forgive me, won't they? <laughs> so now we're going to touch Mr. Snowman right here. And he says, is it okay to move things around and be perfect? And of course it is going, oh, look at that. There's my snowman. It's showing right in the middle of my little airplane. And then, oh, did you have a question? No, we can see that. Great. Okay. So then maybe I don't want him in the middle. Maybe I want him over here on the right-hand side because I'm trying to get him away from a placket. And I want it moved away from the placket. Um, so you can see now the snowman for orientation is over here. So it will orient it that way. Totally logical, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back to center and we're going to tell it to scan. And we're going to tell me it won't, it's worked with me before. It says, keep your hands out of the way. So I'm going <laughs> to tell it, okay. That's cool. Oh, no, it's going to get way better. Oh, what happened to my airplane? He switched upside down, and it just tells me, because, again, it's worked with me before. It knows I might screw this up. It says to take the embroidery positioning mark off. So I'm going to tell it, okay. And I'm going to actually just slide the hoop out to me so that I can grab that little fella, and I can move him off. And because this is a onesie baby knit, I am going to put a topper on top so that I, you know, because those knits are kind of fragile. And I'm just going to tell it, okay, and it's going to move right back into place. And I'm going to tell it to start embroidering. And I'm going to go ahead and let it embroider a little bit. I don't know if I'll let it run through the whole design because I have some more stuff I want to show you. And it takes five whole minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to just touch embroidery and lock and go this machine does have a lock key it doesn't trust you having someone in the room who might not be cautious and careful so it will only blink green for a few seconds and then it goes back to the red to protect you hey colleen yeah um, uh there's a couple people asking you know they want to know if they can download their own designs into this and yes they definitely can uh, but oh, you can download any PES formatted design. You can download any DST design. I don't like DSTs because they don't show color, but they work. 
And you can also create all your own designs in software if you have software that will save as a DST. Uh, so what stabilizer are you using with that onesie there? I always use an iron-on. I use an iron-on cutaway, a real lightweight fusible. Because with the onesie, they're so lightweight and sheer themselves that you just don't have enough body to it. Okay. Everybody's saying, loving it. It's very cool. Okay. So shall I stop it and we just go on to my design center really fast? Sure. Okay. So all I have to do is I'm just going to tell it to quit for a minute. And I'm going to ask it to cut the thread. And all I need to remember is that I'm at that stitch count. And I'm going to tell it to cancel because I can come right back to it. I'll put that into memory. And the next time I pull it up from memory, I'm good to go. But I did want you to see a couple more things before our time is up. So, hey, Ellen, yeah, it does read PES designs. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Uh, and PHC also, because that's what it does. Now I'm going to change this arm out because I want to show you just a quick glimpse of my design center. And I don't know if you're familiar with this, this mat, I'm grabbing it here from behind me. This mat comes with the machine. If you have the 1050 X and it has the ability to scan. So what it can do is I have on here a really crummy coloring book drawing. So if you use a crummy coloring book drawing, I suggest you print it off on white paper first because that will give you a cleaner print. And then I'm gonna take out the two little screws on the arm and they're real easy to reach and you just grab them and loosen them. And it knows I'm, I'm messing with it now because it's, did you hear it? It says change. I, yeah. I remember when I got my first 10 needle, I could not, and I, it, I didn't have, I didn't go look at the videos and everything. I was trying to figure out how to change those arms around and the machine tells you <laughs> right. what's going right. on. It wants you to know, which I think is a good thing. Now this guy, here we go. He just pops over the two pins back here and then you put in the two little screws right back in the holes. They're uh, conveniently indented so they sit nicely on the pins. Makes it easy to do. And then I'm just going to tell it okay. And I'm gonna go home to get out of that. And I'm gonna to touch the My Design Center icon right here. And it opened up the digitizing program that I was talking about. So I can either just, and this is my absolute favorite thing to do. I can just take this little pencil and I can just write my name on the screen and I can touch it with, and, and for me, it would be dark red because that's the best color there is. And there it is. And I touch next, preview. And there's an inverter design ready to stitch. I know that was hard, but I really think you could follow those steps. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. Okay. So I'm going to return. I'm going to get rid of that guy. And I'm going to just get rid of him here. We're going to go back to my design center. And this time we're going to tell it to scan. And we want it to scan as a line drawing because that's what my coloring book is. So we're just going to scan. And it's actually going to take a picture of what's in the hook on my paper here. And you can do this with a hoop also. It does not have to be uh, the scan mat. Very easy. Oh, oops. I messed up. Do you see what it says? It says, attach, it says attach the needle plate cover. And the needle plate cover stores right here. And all I have to do is slide it off and attach it. And that gives it now it'll be happy. See, it wouldn't let me, won't let me make a mistake. That's it's a worked, great thing. It's worked with me before. It's like, oh, she's, she's blonde. I'll help her. And now it's going to read this and you'll see it pop up on my screen. So a lot of people are saying, wow, because I don't, I don't think a lot of people knew that this 10 needle uh, would do the same, very similar things that we were doing on the Dream Machine when we're scanning, which is awesome. It does, and it's wonderful. 
it, it's wonderful to be able to add things to something. You may have gotten a design and gosh, you wish it had a little something on it. Whether well, shapes, you can turn it into an applique, a patch. Um, there's just so much that you can do that is just built into it. So it's thinking, it's looking for, oh, there's my picture. Can you see it on the screen? Oh, let me bring you back up. I'm going away. <laughs> can you see my carousel ponies on the screen? Then I'm just going to crop out the ones I don't want because I don't want all of those guys. That's a little too much carousel pony for me. And it looks like I'm going to have a little bit where I'm going to have to erase. And that's okay because I have an eraser tool. Oh, oh don't cut off his nose. Uh, Marcia said, I had no idea my machine did that. Okay, that's really awesome. And there's a ton of videos, by by the way. No, you cannot scan without the scan mat. You need the scan mat. Uh, but there are a ton of really good videos on YouTube, on Brother So's YouTube, if, if you have this and you want to learn how to use it or if you get it. And uh, the dealers are offering classes. You can call your dealer, even the ones that are um, not open. They're still doing, you know, drive-bys. <laughs> I call it drive-by pickup. But um, they're also doing a lot of classes. So keep going. Sorry. It's okay. So what I'm going to do now is because I don't like having the background behind it because I've moved the pony, I'm going to fade it out. It stays there the whole time so that I have it as a point of reference, but I don't want it. So I'm going to grab an eraser and I think I'll just choose this big round one and I'll just do a little bit of erasing. And there we go. We've got a design. Now let's see, what would we like it to be? Well, we're gonna choose picture because that will flood it with color. And we're going to choose, oh, hot pink would be so much fun. And we're gonna have a little hot pink carousel pony. Is that cool? Now his eyes and his nose did not turn because they're not attached. So we can just leave those alone. Now, right now he's a really pretty red work or hot pink work or whatever you want to call him. But I can fill different parts if I'd like to, and I'm not going to fill the whole thing, but I, enough to give you an idea. You knew what the, this was the line. This is the paintbrush. So the paintbrush does the same thing. Let's make it a different color. Let's make it uh, something you can see on the screen. We'll make it blue green. So the same thing as the paintbrush, only a thicker line. And then the picture floods an area with color. So my outline's a little difficult to see, but I'm gonna make his little rigging green. You see that? Yep. I can make him, I can make him bigger if I need to. So you can see him a little better. Is that cool? And you can fill each one of these regions. You can create regions. You can put shapes around them. You can do so much with this. I am in love with this program. Now, do you want to see what it looks like finished stitching? Yeah, we would love to. Well, as luck would have it through the magic of modern technology. I'm, there's someone. Oh, gosh, look at that. So there's the red work one. Whoops. There's the red work one. And then this one, I just had fun adding colors to, to make him look like a real fun carousel pony. And of course you can resize them and change them. And I mean, you can do anything that you want to do with them. Is that fun? That's and great. And your limit, your limit, cause of course it's gonna be limited. You can only use something you could draw or copyright free clip art or a lot of coloring books or your grandchildren's drawings or, oh, I guess it's not very limited, is it? <laughs> I mean, you can just choose from so much and just there's so many fun, fun things that you can do with this. And you saw how hard it was to get started. Oh, here's a good question for you, Cindy. This, Cindy, uh, this, um, hi, Cindy, by the way. <laughs> she said, is there a way that you can uh, tell the machine what hoop you're gonna use? She says that uh, quite often she'll have to go back and erase near all the edges, things like that. So can you is tell the machine what hoop you're gonna use? before you start. Uh, yeah, you can. So what you would do is you just select the hoop before you start, and then it, it uh, won't necessarily save it to that size, but it will certainly show you, and so you can adjust as you see it. That makes yeah. sense? Yep, it sure does. Um, they're all, there's about 10 people that have asked about photographs. If Can they scan in a photograph and would it stitch it? Actually, you can. 
to be perfectly honest with you, my favorite way to do a photograph is in our software PE design. It is it is legendary through that the entire industry and the photographs made in our PE design software literally look like they came off of your camera. So that is the best way to do it. But I have seen some come out of this being scanned and I have seen them that were pretty good. As nice. good as some other softwares. You know, um, the other things that you can scan in there and I've used that are when my nephews draw me pictures, you know, just like hand sketches and I'll put it in there and then print it out or I mean not print it out, stitch it out and it looks great. It does, it's pretty impressive. I actually did my grandson's first homework when he was uh, in first grade and I was there at Christmas time. And I said, oh honey, can I have that? And he said, sure. And then when he came to visit, it was stitched into his pillowcase. Oh, that's so cool. So what a great picture. Yeah, it's really fun. And when they go to camp, they've got their pillowcase with their own handwriting on it, their bath towel with their own handwriting on it. It's just really special. Very nice. There's a, I'm just scanning to see if there's any other questions that just rolled in. There was quite a few. So some of you that are came in late, you'll be able to rewatch this video because some of your questions have already been answered. So uh, just let's see. Uh, the name of the machine. I posted that in here. The PR 1050X. And someone said, does brother have other uh, multi-needle machines? Yes, that I have the six needle behind me. That's on there. The Persona is a one needle, but it's still a different machine. I mean, like different than just a regular sewing and embroidery machine. So those are the two that come to my first mind. <laughs> right. The Persona has the, the free arm, which makes it attractive. And it has a secret that Angela may not know. It has a quilting kit available for it, so you can set it up for free motion quilting without it being in an embroidery hoop. What? I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> of course, I just learned how to quilt yesterday, so I would not have known that. But are you for real on that? For real, it's awesome. And the, I I got one and I started playing with it, and then I had one of my friends over. I'm, I'm actually in a quilt group, and one of the girls from my quilt guild came over to play. And I was like, okay, I'm timing this. I need you to finish. I need you to finish, but she was having so much fun because it's a like almost like quilting on a long arm in that you can sit there and because I, dr I dropped the stand down low and just move the fabric as you want. It's it's an amazing feature. That's very cool. I had no idea. Yeah, you're right. I did not know. Although yeah. I started See? quilting yesterday. The, you, you never know what's going to happen now. <laughs> Sky's the limit. <laughs> right. So see what you could be doing. <laughs> I brought a few other samples just in case people wanted to see some other stuff. And um, I showed you on screen manipulation. So you can take something on the screen and just twist it and turn it and shift it any way that you want to make a little configuration. But what's fun here is this is a kid's pair of jeans or a kid's pair of shorts. And you know, ordinarily, you wouldn't be able to hoop those. And if you did get them hooped, then you'd be fighting with what the rest of the blue jean or the short was doing. So this is really a convenient way to be able to do this. And by the way, there's a little shirt to match it. When my kids traveled with us, we traveled a ton. And when my kids traveled with us, we always had them um, in matching shirts. One is black haired and blue eyed and the other is blonde haired and green eyed. So no one would ever put the two together as brothers. So it was just fun to have, um, have something that identified them. <laughs> and then here's another little secret that you may or may not know, but this has available for it the ability to do caps. That looks really good. What now, I have done caps on mine. That's one of my favorite things. I did it for our fishing team. See, that's fun, isn't it? So yeah. a lot of people say, well, I can do a cap on my other machine. Well, you can, but you can't do it this wide. You can only do it about an inch and a half wide. So this makes it a lot nicer. And then this one, I didn't do anything on the front yet, but can you see me? There, I did the back. Oh. What a great idea to do the back. Yeah. Yeah. I used us, um, you know, one of our auxiliary hoops for that, but it's just fun. And I, I have a good time with this because I'll be walking down the street and people are behind you and they see the word smile and then they come by and they just laugh. 
So that's a great idea because I'm getting ready to do well. I was going to do hats for our fishing team this summer, but uh, since most of the tournaments have been canceled, I have a whole year to do this, which is fantastic. <laughs> How did you say that? It's going to restart. Absolutely. Absolutely. But that means I better get rolling and uh, yeah. get those hats done. But I would love to put something on the back. Maybe our uh, a picture of the boat on the front and win an angel on the back. That's the name of our boat. We yeah, it's just fun. You can also do the sides, but, um, you know. How does, just, how does hand cursive work uh, show up on that? Which I could I answer on as well, because I've done uh, some hand cursive sky from my grandmother. She had written all these little notes and I scanned it in and embroidered um, and it, lo it looked great. But do you have any opinion on that, Colleen? As, as long as you can get a dark enough image to start with, it'll be beautiful. I've been working with a recipe card, trying to do one of my dad's recipes and, it, and it's it's beautiful. I haven't finished it yet, um, but it, they're beautiful and it's fun. It, that was a family gift. I did his recipe for his favorite candy that he made for everybody in the family for Christmas and they get it on a tea towel. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. It's fun. Do uh, you have anything else laying around there? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I had several little things stashed. Oh, hey, Patricia. Yes, you can start. Uh, sorry about your uh, power outage, by the way. But um, yes, when this video is over, uh, it takes like a couple minutes and you can go back and watch the replay on here. Uh, brother Facebook and Brother YouTube. Hope that helps. What a bummer that her power went out. I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the scan mat off because um, I want you to see this and I want you to see how it hoops. You would just hoop it and then slide it. So what I have is a tote bag. I mean, a, a backpack. Why can't I go the right way? I have a backpack and there's the monogram on the pocket. Not on any other place because I didn't want it to go through because the backpack is waterproof. So I don't mind the water, the pocket losing its resistance, but I do really mind the rest. So you can see all that stuff just hangs right down out of the way and you're good to go. Is that cool? That's very cool. So, and that's what I think a lot of people were asking. They were kind of trying to wrap their head around. How are you get things on there? Someone asked if you would just show one more time that mat, the, um, <laughs> the thing you use in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm totally oh, kidding. The, <laughs> the oven mat. And you guys, you do know I'm kidding. I made banana bread last week. I'm really not that dense. I just don't enjoy it. Although I'm making a chicken. Uh, tomorrow I'm roasting a chicken. I'm branching out. I'll let you know if Wynn has to order pizza out. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, Costco sells those done. Just take the package and get rid of it. <laughs> hey, I have to confess. One time a friend of mine and I, neither one of us cooked, and she had a date. This is years and years and years ago. And her boyfriend came over. She was going to surprise him and cook him dinner, and she did that. She went and got the rotisserie chicken. She baked it, and <laughs> she served it, and he's like, why are there holes in the chicken? She totally forgot to, like, kind of camouflage all the, the big holes in there, so she totally got busted on that. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. Hot. That was funny. Okay, so <laughs> there are hoops, and I can't find them right now, that Brother sells for this machine that are tiny, tiny little skinny hoops, and they come – is a set of seven. Oh, wait, so I think I have some. Hold on. I'll... I cleaned my sewing room, and now I don't know where they got cleaned to. But there's some called, there's two different kinds. Brother sells from both, I believe. And they have little tiny skinny frame that you can stick inside almost anything. That's how I did the little purse. I do shoes. Uh, brother has, I didn't bring a shoe out, but brother brings, a, has a wonderful, wonderful shoe clamp. And I've done all kinds of shoes. I, and gloves. Did I, bring I have them somewhere. I have them somewhere to show, but um, I don't, oh, wait, I'll look over here. And I brought gloves out here, but I don't know where I put them down because I do a lot of gloves. Gloves are fun. And that way when they're lost, you get them back. But um, is it this one? No, that one comes with the machine. Oh, but hang okay. on a second. Mine might be right here. This is the tiniest little thing. I got it. I 
got it. Here we go. There's a whole set of these. So this is the bigger one. Let's just dig down here so we get to the littler ones. I'm with you. They, I'm with you on that. They come with the arm. Oh, bring that over they, here. I can't quite see that. Bring it over one more time. Yeah, okay. So it fits on to your regular existing arm. And then these two knobs are how you attach the little hoops. Then they just snap in there. Let me find them all. I there's agree. A well, there's, I got a whole handful. There's the roundy edge one for the back of a cap. Oh, that looks great. Yes, now everybody's getting more of a visual of what you would use. To, so this would be for a hoodie also for the, uh, the hood of a hoodie or anything that's rounded. All right, let me dig for the little ones. If they're in this bag, I keep them all together. This particular set is made by Jerky. Now I'm getting to the little guys. This one is three by four. This one is two and a half by four. Oh, nice. Those are so nice. So these are simple, simple. And because you're not actually hooping them, you're just using sticky stabilizer. <laughs> And let me put this down so it doesn't confuse the, you just slide it in. Come over, for some reason you're like over, go the other way. Yeah, there we go. So you guys can see that a little bit better. And yeah. then this, this is how it slides into the arm. That's awesome. Because you know, you, that, you could embroider jeans. I mean, I'm thinking like on my level of um, getting out of the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> But um, you could embroider jeans, all those little small things that you have a hard time getting into. Well, there's a lot of things that I like to do with the jeans and the, like, like I said, the shoe hoop is amazing. You can actually just do shoes with it. Boots. I've done, I've, I've done several kinds of boots. I think you're going to have to come back on and do a tutorial on that for us because I would love to see how to embroider some boots. Okay. It's real hard. Oh, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm reading all the comments. We've we've uh, squirreled from uh, embroidery to cooking now, and I'm getting a lot of good ideas on what I'm going to do for my chicken dinner tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are they giving you things that you can cook and make it look like you did hours worth and you didn't? Oh, yeah. Everyone's saying, what? Shoes? Um, are, these, are those considered fast frames? This one is made by Durkee. It's very similar. Fast Frames is one name brand and Durkee is another name brand. I believe Brother sells them both. Uh, I'm not positive about that. <laughs> very cool. Oh, everybody wants boots. Oh, that's a shoe clamp. If you want to just do the little, like a little thing on it, it use the shoe clamp. It's the easiest. If you want to do real boots, then you're going to go with one of these hoops. Like very you're talking cool. on the side of the boot. Yeah. Yeah. That would they, be actually, very they actually have a cylinder frame that was made for boots. I don't have that, so I can't show you that. Very cool. Well, Colleen, I, I think everyone has had a really fun time today. And you can, now you obviously are not teaching right now because a lot of the places are closed. But if you go to brothersos.com, that, and on their Facebook page, they usually, when the events start rolling again, they'll have those listed. And um, you teach, tell them a little bit about your class, but come over to the screen because all we're seeing is your arm. Oh, you don't want to look at my armpit anymore? All right. <laughs> Let's see if I can tip it up so I don't have to stand here in this. Well, no, I'll do, I'll do this. I'll slide over here like this. How's that? Now I'm really huge, right? There you go. Oh, hi. There we go. Okay, I'm actually doing a Start Your Own Business event next Wednesday. Oh. At All Brands. Virtually. Nice. It's virtually All Brands. I'll be here on this machine and they'll be there. Um, but we do several different events. We do one that's a hands-on event that's coming soon where the they actually come in and sew on the machine. And then we do one that's called Start Your Own Business. And that's where we just talk them through things, do some demo like we did here today. And they get the whole, like, how to charge, 
how do you, you know you how do you know what to charge people right a million dollars because your time no i'm just kidding <laughs> but there's a lot of those things and those will all pop up on on like you said the brother sews which that's great so the all brands one is next week so you guys you and a lot of uh a lot of people here have seen blaine on my show and things like that so check out their website um do either of you come to canada i won't be anytime soon but uh, we do virtual classes, all of us, many of us. So keep that in mind. I don't think any of us, um, I'm on the brother education team, as Angela said in the beginning, and I don't think any of us ever go to Canada uh, except possibly to teach their dealers. Okay. And I, um, I have a couple events coming up in the fall. I have one in June, but everything's kind of so up in the air right now, but it's all in the United States. But I do have a fashion sewing club that you could join and we get together twice a week <laughs> uh, virtually and do sewing and fun stuff like that. You know, got to get keep getting together, right? Keeping the brain alive. Yeah. So I think uh, we are going to be giving away a machine today, Colleen. Brother has given me 10 sewing machines. The first one went out last week. So congratulations to the winner last week. And I think that we need to draw for this week. So how do you enter? Well, a couple things. It's too late to enter for today's because we are, uh, I just drew one second ago. I hit the button. I haven't looked at who the winner is, but I just hit the button. So there is a link to join. If you go to my Facebook page, Angela Wolf Couture is my Facebook page, or go to my website, AngelaWolf.com. There's a link there to enter. You can enter once for the next, let's see, we have eight more to go after this for the next eight weeks. I'm drawing every Friday, we're giving one away. And then if you leave a comment in any of the virtual classes or the these lives at your side virtually is what we're calling these shows, uh, you are also included into the giveaway. So good luck. And you can always message me if you can't find the links. So. All right, I just hit the button. There's over 10,000 people who have wanted to win this sewing machine. So someone just said, I, I wish I'd win the lottery. If you win today, you are pretty much kind of like winning the lottery. So I think I just, let me see. I think I can bring up a, um, everyone's saying awesome. It just gave me a photo. Let me see if this works. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. I'm going to share my screen because it actually, <laughs> the software I use actually turned you into a little banner. So let me just share my screen. Hold on a second. They win a brother sewing machine. Let me just get the model here. We switched models because the other one was out. So you are going to win. Hold on one moment. Oh, you are winning. A Brother XR3340 sewing machine. It comes with a nice little table. And I'm going to show you that first. And then I will tell you who the winner is. Sorry. My uh, my uh, screen is slower than it's supposed to be. So hold on one second. It, uh, it can't be because everybody in the whole world is live right now, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe it needs coffee. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That makes two of us. Okay. Here we go. So first I'm going to share this right here. There, this is the machine you could win. This is the contest. So if you go to Angela Wolf Couture uh, Facebook page, that's where this is. And you just scroll down, you can enter every single day. You just fill out a couple little things and hit send and you're entered. And then I made it easy if you wanted to sign up for brother newsletter and stuff like that. And then I'll send them your email so you don't have to go through all the trouble. So this is the beautiful machine you're going to win. So good luck, good luck, good luck. And the winner is, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> I have to share a different screen. It's on a different page. Drum roll everyone, drum roll. Erica Miller, congratulations. Yay. Yay. So if you would message me, I'll send you an email as well. But if you're here live, be sure to say hi and um, message me and we will get that into the mail to you. So congratulations. How fun is that? All right. So we have eight more machines. And Colleen, this has been so much fun. Um, <laughs> you guys... 
Uh, Dobsy, do you have the fabric you're wearing for sale? So I have to tell you, Colleen even said she liked my shirt today too. Um, this is my Rouge T and I hand dyed this. This this top is as old as Moses. <laughs> but this started white and I hand dyed it with the burgundy. Isn't it fun? We'll do that another day. <laughs> so Colleen, uh, you're going to have to come back on here. We got to see these boots. This is going to be awesome. Okay, we'll do boots. All right, we that sounds good. That would be great. You guys, would you guys like to learn that? Because I sure would love to. I think that that would be awesome. Everybody's saying yes, yes, and congratulations. So um, our show continues on for the whole rest of May. And you can go back and watch any of these over on Facebook, YouTube, and I'm starting to add them to my blog. So you can pop into AngelaWolf.com and watch the replays if you're looking for that as well. So next week, we have a really busy week. You want to see what I'm working on, Colleen? You'll love this. Of course I do. I just, my bobbin just ran out, so i they're not finished, but guess what Monday is? Star Wars Day. Oh. Yeah, and now I do know who this is. So I'm doing a Star Wars tic-tac-toe game that I think will be super fun, and that's what I will be showing on Monday. And Tuesday is Cinco de Mayo, so May is going to be on here working on that. Then we have, um, let's see, I just got to peek at my calendar and make sure I have the right week. I know I have Reen coming on. We're going to be doing this little zipper case. She's coming soon. Fun. She's so, her projects are so much fun. Oh, they're so cute. And then later on in May, we're doing an apron sew along, five days of sewing this really cute apron. Um, oh my gosh, we have so many fun things planned. Joanne's coming on. We're going to talk about doing Mother's Day cards. I, sh I showed these the other day. I still have to finish them. But I did these on the scan and cut. Aren't those fun? So, and then you're coming back for these boots. we got to get you in here. I'm dying to see these. <laughs> so everyone that wants to see Colleen, you can go to All Brands to see her new class coming up next week. And until then, Colleen, I hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Stay safe. Thanks for joining. And everyone, be sure to follow. Uh, let me make sure I've got the brother. Hold on. I got the brother website here somewhere. I hit the wrong one. It's blog.brothersows.com if you want to see all the projects on there. And then you there's also links to the YouTube and the Facebook page. So bye, everyone. At bye. Fashion Sewing Club, I'll see you in a half an hour. Everybody else, I'll see you on Monday. Oh, wait. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Tomorrow's Saturday. You know what Saturday is? Uh, it's So Easy Marathon. There's three episodes in a row starting at noon. How could I forget? All right. <laughs> Colleen? Say hi Come to your on. husband. I will. And where's the dog? He's over here on the floor. Oh, you tell him hi. Here. We, we love these little furry creatures. Rico. Can you see him? Is he too close? Rico. Let's see. Let me bring him up. Oh, yep. We see part of him. <laughs> He's so cute. He's a sweet boy. Nice. He just wishes everybody would pet him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colleen, have a wonderful weekend, and um, I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thank you, brother, for letting us take over your page. Until next week, happy sewing.